Okay, so I'm Ben Ford. Um, I'm the tech partner at a consultancy called The Pioneers. Uh, I'm going to whip through this quickly because I know we've, we've got uh, a short amount of time. Um, basically, we help scale-ups um, create culture as they scale. So normally companies, when they scale, they get to, you know, especially rocket ship kind of tech startups. Uh, lots of friction, lots of what we call um, social inflection points, and we help um, create systems to mitigate that uh, as companies scale. Um, and we call it a people operating system. So we we were working with Honest already, um, and you know there's a, there's always a technical component to these uh, these interventions. You can you know you can do lots and lots of workshops, but eventually you have to have people using systems to do the work that they need. So what we had before was that we had you know typical. Um, set up in, in lots and lots of companies, you've got lots and lots of siloed systems. You've got an applicant tracking system, uh, an HR information system, learning and development and talent, and they're all separate, right? So, you know, in, across all of these different silos, you will have a representation of a user where the data lives, you know, different pieces of the a, a user's data lives in different parts of the system. So that provi provides quite a poor user experience for, for you know, people who are, you know, middle office and back office folks who are trying to make the company run. Um, and, you know, each of these things on their own, especially in, a, um, in an industry like, um, like, like restaurants or hospitality, but many other industries are typically not very well served with technically advanced um, incumbents. So you end up paying lots and lots of money for something that is not particularly good. And you have to pay lots of money for each of these silos. So, what what we wanted to do was uh, one thing one thing that that honest did have in place which was exceptionally good is uh, a culture of using chatbots to to get the data the problem was that that data was was quite fragmented so what we wanted to do is come in with a solution that allows this sense of evolution of a of a, a component within the business so you start off you want to iterate quickly you want to experiment um, you don't want to spend loads of money just to just to have an just to be able to do an experiment. So you want to start down in the bottom left. But inevitably, um, as you experiment, you'll ha you'll have things that work and things that don't. And the things that work, you are going to tend to want to move to the top right, right? As the criticality or risk of those systems goes up, you need to be able to host them um, and make them robust and make them not incredibly expensive. So. Um, I figured that Hasura was going to be a good a good fit for this, and uh, lo and behold, uh, it turned out to be an excellent fit for this. So, so what what the architecture looks like now is that we have any any piece of operational information um, and the flows to read it and write it lives in this database that we call the brain, which of course is Hasura. Um, via the GraphQL API, we serve um, the chatbots. We have been building an admin interface with um, Vercel and Next, Next.js for, for things that don't fit in the kind of chatbot um, workflow. We use lots of automations and they talk directly to the GraphQL API. Um, and we have MetaBase plugged straight into that relational database for you know, business intelligence. So we've taken quite fragmented um, and disparate sources of information. We've put it all in one place and then we have the operational kind of tempo of the business feeding into that. And then we have business intelligence. So it's all been run off the same database. There's no, um, there's no data warehouse or anything like that. It's all, um, it's all the brain. And at this point, I'm going to hand over to Dub to talk about some numbers and some other stuff. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, so um, Honest, we're, we're 45 uh, restaurants around the UK. Um, serving burgers. This is our first one um, in Brixton. Uh, the two guys working there, the guy just behind the door and the guy at the grill, um, those are our founders and they're still in the business. And, you know, we're a, we're a founder-led business still and it's a real privilege to work with them every single day. Um, but, you know, we're because we're a, a business that literally grew up in Brixton market with like, you know, £200 a month rent, we're still quite, you know, as scrappy when it comes to what we um, spend money on. And I think the the pandemic really showed us that we didn't want to waste money on crap systems. And that's really what we what we had. 
Um, we were paying a lot of money for systems that didn't necessarily fulfill our needs and didn't really do what we um, wanted and needed as we sort of, you know, try to use technology to drive our business forward instead of buying in a technology to solve a current problem. We want to try and sort out, you know, future problems and drive the business forward through tech, which seems really simple and sensible if you're in a tech business, but we're not a tech business, we're a restaurant business. Um, and so many other industries are not yet at this point um, where, you know, technology, they're using it every day, but it's not necessarily used to build the business and drive the business forward. And that's what Hasura has really allowed us to do, not just in terms of saving money. I mean, just from looking at our HR system, we're saving about 47 and a half grand a year um, on our HR system, um, which means either that Hasura is incredibly underpriced or it means that um, our HR system was incredibly overpriced. And I know which one it definitely is. It's the HR system side. Please don't put the price up. It's very nice. Um, so, um, you know, and, and that's just one system that doesn't take into account, you know, the fact that we had a, an L&D solution that didn't talk to that HR system or was unable to um, pull, the, pull that information into the, the places where our managers need it and our back of house teams need it. Um, but also, you know, we're using chatbots and we're getting people that information on a device they're choosing to use, which is their own mobile phone. Um, and we've actually managed to speed those bots up. And that um, ability to make things much more efficient is also going to save us a lot of money um, and time in the long run. Um, you know, we've actually improved the, um, the speed at which our bots are getting back to people by 75%, um, which, you know, from a couple of seconds to to a couple of milliseconds and it doesn't seem like a lot but actually when you're having a conversation with a robot you want it to be really quick and really responsive um and that sort of you know we're only just figuring this stuff out we started off building these systems in google sheets during the first wave of the pandemic in the uk because we were like we need to move everyone in our business to a restaurant that's near them um, and we couldn't do that in our actual HR system because it would have been a manual process to change every single person's location. Um, so we built it ourselves in a Google sheet and that, you know, has sort of shown us what we wanted the end goal to be. But all of that is based on what a Google sheet and some automation could do. Now we're using Hasura. We're actually saying, okay, this could go way more. And just thinking about the, you know, the tree lookups that we were shown earlier, I'm like, my mind is running wild with, with the things that we could do to make our systems even smarter now um, using Hasura. Great. And basically what, what that's done is basically given, given you know, Dub, Dub and his colleagues the power back to, to manage their own systems, to build their own stuff. You know, you can spin up a, a few tables that that model the data that you want to work with in Hasura in the in the um, console really quickly. You can fire you can have that connected to a bot even quicker. And, you know, you've got a working end to end system there that feeds feeds into the business intelligence immediately. And, you know, that's just a, a world away from what's possible in most businesses. So that is us. That's um, yeah, that's us, the pioneers. And uh, that's what we've done with Hasura over the last few months.